Cheers, guys. Welcome back to another video. Um, we are going over a section in Frank Rudolph Young's The Laws of Mental Domination that is specifically about how to protect yourself from negative energy, negative uh, psychic influences. Um, and with this section, this is just one approach to this. I thought about actually doing a, an entire video on using like a lot of different techniques that you can use to do this. But essentially, as we've been covering through the book, you know, in order to influence somebody in a positive way, you, you want to be uh, putting forth positive intentions towards that person. We've always, we all of us have encountered people that we can tell, we can feel are projecting negativity. Um, and so this section of this book is very interesting. This goes into what we were talking about before about being transparent um, so that things just go through you or they bounce off of you, right? They're not going to affect you so much if you can engage in this. So I'm going to do this reading and then give my own thoughts and breakdown of it. And let's just get into it. So he talks about here, um, civilized black magic in operation. Elsa, your neighbor, might despise you only because she envies your appearance, your position, your full crop of ravishing hair, <laughs> your ready smile, your better self-care, or something else. She habitually thinks about you and wishes you harm or great loss. These steadily streaming thoughts, while not symmetrically marshaled against you, in themselves conspire to bring about the effects of black magic. Whenever you run into her anywhere, you feel uneasy and unwelcome, as if she wished to avoid you. You even harbor a feeling, and very likely a correct one, that she both thinks about you and discusses you at great length, and disparagingly too, with her husband. The staunchest soul cannot endure this steady battering of psychic poison day after day and not grow aware of it. Before long, you grow super sensitive about the situation. When a pebble bounces near you on the sidewalk, you swear it was hurled by Elsa. You feel increasingly unsafe and your very expression changes. Spiteful Elsa observes it, dislikes you all the more for it, and wishes you still more harm. The vicious cycle continues until it becomes impossible for you to live near her any longer and remain your calm, peaceful self. You have lost your sense of humor. You rage against Elsa and dread her, and you glare at her warily on the street. <laughs> your appetite deserts you, and you are restless at night. Even if you don't waste away, your vitality will be sapped, and your career and daily life suffer accordingly. If that isn't black magic, what is? How to Neutralize Civilized Black Magic It is difficult to neutralize yourself against the steady stream of psychic poison emanating from Elsa unless you move from the neighborhood. Hood. Since you like that neighborhood, you have to make use of psychic self-defense. So I just want to point out the fact that uh, they're using, Frank uh, Rudolf Young here is using the same type of language that Don Miguel Ruiz uses in the Four Agreements. And he talks about when you take offense, when you, when you feel these emanations coming from somebody, he says you have taken the poison in you. And what he, as well as Florence Scovel Shin, advises um, to is to not be, is to basically be unmoved by this. And now we're going to see, and we, we've gone in previous videos, I've elucidated on that, on that process a bit in the in a video that, that I talked about with forgiveness and, and how you allow yourself to be more um, transparent so that this flows past you and it doesn't get, get caught up. You don't get caught up with it. But it, here we're going to get Frank Rudolph Young, his take on it and how to kind of protect yourself against this negative psychic energy, like he says. So, um, you have to make use, right? So waste no time or effort to stop Elsa's insidious thought forms from corroding your mind. Here, okay, the psychic poison emanating from Elsa, unless you move from the neighborhood, Right, but you don't want to move from the neighborhood unless you engage in this self-defense. Um, waste no time nor effort trying to stop Elsa's insidious thought forms from corroding your mind. That attempt would only devitalize you. Either blank out your mind with her or to her with a thought vacuum, which was we covered in the first video on this in this series, um, 
or recall something pleasant and let Elsa exhaust herself, pouring her malicious thoughts against your unreceptive mind. That's the key is being unreceptive to this. So exercise, visualize yourself encountering Elsa on the sidewalk. Instantly start recalling to your mind the exciting movie or baseball game you saw or listened to recently. Again, follow your favorite star or athlete and in his thrilling acting or skillful mu movements. Watch tensely again when the tide turns against him and breathe easier again when he turns it back. Maintain this reverie for at least 10 minutes when, your will, when you will have long forgotten Elsa. By engrossing yourself for about 10 minutes in this way, you won't leave yourself open to being upset for hours by her black magic after she has departed. The more sensitive you are, the more lonesome your life, the more such vexing situations will disturb you. So learn to neutralize them swiftly. Mastering and applying this exercise also keeps you from engaging in turn in resentful, fatiguing, brooding against such a person. Practice this exercise until you can use it at will. Cool. So that is the exercise here. And previously, he mentioned before that when you are actually engaged in this practice, whether you are visualizing and you're holding the person before you in your mind, or you actually run into this example, Elsa, or whoever this person is in real life, you can look at the bridge of their nose rather than looking at them in the eyes, if that helps, because that way you're not taking in their essentially negative psychic energy is the way that he's describing it here. But yeah, you know, this, uh, this example, you can see how in this example, um, you know, these things are, they really do affect us, right? When we can sense somebody, even just our neighbor here that he says that we see, and now it can be much more uh, troubling, actually, if this is something, somebody that's in our family, um, somebody that we're living with, it could even be, yeah, like, a, it could be, right, it could be a coworker, it could be anybody, right? But <clears throat> that's, this is my issue with the, the Neville Goddard SP stuff is that a lot of people have selected the wrong person. So if you are dealing with somebody like this, and there's literally, you, you know, you may have entered into the relationship at a time where things were good, or they seemed good, but over the course of time, that goodwill corroded, and there's no goodwill left. And you're in this relationship with somebody who's actively sending this psychic negativity your way, doing these types of exercises and, and trying to, you know, just ignore it is just, that's, uh, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to be with somebody that like that? So my whole take on this is like, yeah, you know, um, in those cases, you're, you're definitely going to want to do what you can. If it's a romantic partner, yeah, just, you know, you're going to want to leave, you're going to want to let that person fall out of your life. If it's a family member, and somebody that you that's going to be harder for you to, you know, uh, remove from your life entirely, you're going to want to cut limit contact with that person, you're going to want to make it so that and then engage in these practices of you know, um, there's other practices, uh, like I said, I, I might do an, a full on video because there's a visualization you can do, which is like cutting the cords of energy. There's also um, imagining, you know, using visualization to imagine these things bouncing off of you like mirror, like a mirror exercise. Um, and so, and, and honestly, being reflected back to the person that sent them. But essentially, by becoming transparent, like we talked about, that's how you're becoming unreceptive to it. You're not buying into it. You're just not attaching to it. It's just, it falls through to the wayside because you're not giving it any credence really. And again, easier said than done if you are literally as with a roommate or somebody that's like all up in your personal space like this, which unfortunately I personally have had, I had a roommate that was like this and I just had to get out of there. At a certain point I left, I went on a trip, I came back home, I went back, but that whole episode, that whole year was just, very heavily marred by the fact that I had a roommate that was uh, very visibly, um, you know, projecting ill will toward me. And I, I think he was just a miserable person because, you know, that is also that it comes that is a byproduct of somebody feeling um, miserable inside and somebody feeling, you know, uh, bad about themselves, right? And they, they use it a lot of times to make themselves feel better to cover up some sort of inferiority. Um, again, having that superiority conflicts, the flip side of that, they try to put down other people try to, um, you know, 
one up other people, try to make other people feel bad, or in this case, you know, exert this negativity um, in this way, psychically towards other people to make themselves feel better and superior. But uh, yeah, definitely worthwhile to engage in some of these practices if you are dealing with a person that's like this, because you're going to want to enter into that state of neutrality. And again, that way you're not going to be taking the brunt of this energy because it, it can sap your energies. I've uh, experienced it personally <clears throat> that when you're around people with these types of, with this type of negative vibe, right? Um, so anyways, guys, much love as always. Drop this down with a like. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this. Hit me with a subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.